Alright, this is going to suck. The so, yeah. Hmm. I'm going north around the Skull Island. Yeah, same. Attention to the designated grid square. On me! Somebody cover me! Well, on the bright side, that 5 inch turret isn't um, dancing at the moment. Oh, why did I spawn here? That's not helpful, is it? <laughs> oh, and we have three ba four battleships on our team. Okay. Well, at least that's something. Yeah. Hopefully I, they have less. I don't recognize anybody in this match, so... What do you mean? Don't recognize anybody? Well, it means we don't have the four-man AL-300 squad, which usually is, like, everybody is in Maria's. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I should, I should probably turn left a little bit so I'm not cutting this Brooklyn off. Because... I don't want someone to have to pay 30 grand to repair a ship because they got beached. Because <laughs> I almost had to do that yesterday. Oh no. Somebody just disappeared. Somebody leave the match. Yep. Can this person shut up? Say again? Oh. I was thinking about it. Is it the Tashkent guy? Uh, probably. Sorry, I was just muting the Brooklyn next to me because he's spamming the radio. Fine. Yeah. I don't mind them usually, they just... Uh, I don't have any issue with people being helpful, but sitting there and just spamming the map in one place is unhelpful. Sometimes I do it myself, but just calling out people, like, yeah, here's the yeah. battleship, here's the cruiser, target him, he's close, blah blah blah. I think he said thanks for me moving out of his way, though. So, that's something. Hmm. Oh. Yesterday I unlocked the engine module in Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Baltimore. <laughs> so I have... I'm speed now. I'm 30, doing 33 knots. Yay. Oh, good. I have AA, or AP. That's the only modification I have. Hmm. <laughs> that's good enough. It took me five matches to get AP. Hmm. Have you got any boosters on? Yep. And premium. Have, yeah. Do you have a Zara? I was considering putting a, a talisman on Baltimore, but... Right. Can I be bothered to dump two grand into this at the moment? Not really. Oh. Yes, I should disable my shell cam because yesterday when I was playing uh, Crash, I used it. Yeah. I thought that could be useful. It was kind of actually. I could see where my shells are landing, so I could adjust. Uh, I think it's a dumb feature. Hmm. And the way it's been implemented is incredibly unhelpful. I mean, I guess that's debatable. You can well. use the scouting, if you're looking over islands. If okay, you are so it takes 15 thing. seconds for it, it takes 15 seconds for a shell from a 5-inch 38 to traverse 10 kilometers, roughly. Mm. It takes what six seconds to reload. So using the stupid shell cam. Unless you are very clicky on your mouse button, you are having your effective rate of fire. Mm. Which isn't helpful. Because the whole point of the 5 inch 38 in this at the moment is the fact that it is. F oh, Lord. Um, that's not what I wanted. There's a battleship right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said battleship, and there's another one there. Um, I don't know, John, whether I would have gone there. I usually just camp here with the guys. Mm. 
Well, this is where I like camping in Huga. <laughs> um, I think you're quite exposed there. I don't think the exposure is the issue. I think the fact that my guns don't do anything is the problem. I'm pretty sure that you're showing broadside is kind of an issue. Well, once I get to this corner, I'm going to be angled better, but... Oh, here's the number, or whatever that is. Well, I'm on fire. Chapayev sent a single salvo through me. And then something else hit me, and I don't know what it was, but something went bang. I don't know, I was thinking why, why my damage from Baltimore might be low, but I was like... Maybe the shell weight itself and the low amount of filler, it doesn't generate too much fragmentation, if you think about it. Mm. Or... But that doesn't explain why I was... If the issue was that it wasn't exploding or doing damage when it hit something, you wouldn't have thought that I would have killed the Keln in a sixth of the salvos that it took to kill the Hipper. Mm. Or the fact that I managed to get a detonation on the Destroyer in two salvos. Mm. You would think that it would just do nothing to the destroyer. Well, and now I get to I'm sit here and burn for the next ten minutes. Do you have a repair kit or something? A fire prevention? Nope. As fire said, yeah. I have AP, that's it. Ah. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh, I actually had, yeah, toolkit and fire, fire, fire extinguisher. And AP, no. Yeah, and I'm down three quarters of my boilers. Oh. Down. Also, we have a battle. Uh, Hugo pushing us. Two, good. four. I'm down five, six bofors mounts. Oh, la. Hmm. And I'm drifting. Uh, uh, that's nice. You're going somewhere. I'm drifting forwards. The props are in reverse. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Uh, uh, what's the range? Dun, I don't know whether I should wish for torps or not. Oh my god. Well, okay, sitting here isn't doing me any good. Kaiser died. Very good. I don't even know. I mean, it's a Hugo. I could potentially took out, take out his bridge. Maybe. But yeah, so my experience so far has just been incredibly boring. It's spawn, get shot, get set on fire, have 80% of the ship disappear, and then not do anything for the next 20 minutes. Mm. <laughs> because... Yeah, it's stock ship life, stock ship life. Well, it's the same in Helena though, which, you know, is spaded. They changed it from you get shot once and you die to you get shot once and 80% of the ship dies and then it takes a 20 minutes to get rid of the rest of it. How come the Italian of the Ising one is one shot from a battleship? But I guess that's expected. I'm on 29% crew. I've been shot by a Chapayev with like two salvos. That's not good. And I'm successfully above you by one point, even though you have over ten times the naval damage and a kill. Mm. Because of the amounts that I've been hit. I mean, I guess that's nice. I'm still on fire. Wait, where is the destroyer? No. And I'm moving ahead at flank speed at the blistering rate of two miles per hour. Oh, it seems the engines are on fire. That's the issue. Hmm. And I'm on two Makes props. Sense. Makes sense. Well, it doesn't, because the fire is coming out the top of my funnels. So why is the engine room on fire? Oh my god, another battleship. Down. Uh, and, yep, there goes the last... My rudders are now completely out. The engines are dead. 
27% crew. Your rudder is out. No, the Fired. rudder. Oh no, the rudder's fine. The props are gone. Oh. Oh yeah. Your engines are dead. Mm. Or transmission or whatever. The actual engines. Right. Um, oh, the funnel has successfully burnt itself out. The elevators and ready rooms for two out of the three rear five-inch turrets are gone. I'm moving forward at four miles per hour now, so I am now successfully going faster with zero propeller Destroy movement than I was oh. when I actually had props working. Hola is coming uh, around the corner just, or peeking. I'm just gonna stop moving because I'm actually at a range where I can hit something now. Mm. Or there's a destroyer at seven click or six clicks, I can hit that. Yeah, do that. What the fuck was that? What what hit me? Oh, it was the polar. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, Zara hits quite hard. Yeah, oh. and Zara's HE works too. Also with AP. Oh, right. The common shell is faster than the AP shell for some reason. So it has a shallower okay. arc, which means I can't hit the destroyer with the common shell at this range, but I can hit it with the AP. Not, isn't it the other way around? Oh no, the AP is way heavier. It's a super heavy shell. Mm. So it's like a lower mile faster velocity. Yeah, 30 kilos heavier though. Uh, right. Yep, and those things are within 5 kilometers, so I can't hit them. Literally can't do anything. Yep, I am stuck. 27% crew. Do you have a backup? Yeah. That's good. Uh, now a German cruiser is trying to kill me with 20 mils. <laughs> it's an Ehrenberg. You know what? Sod this. I'm taking the 5 inch guns. And yeah, I'm just going to see if I can't hit him with those. Mm -hmm. Nope. Even the 5 inch 38 has too sh shallow of a trajectory at this range to actually hit a, Nir a Nuremberg four clicks away. Mm. And there's no point even trying to hit him with the Bofors guns because I have one turret working. And is it on the other side of the ship? Oh, I have one working on the. No, I, I, out of the out, out of the Bofors guns turrets, one I have working is on the correct side. Ah, oh, okay, sure. I have none on the other side that are working. I was just thinking it could have been quite ironic. I have one working both as well, but it's on the other side. <laughs> that would be extremely incorrect and appropriate, yeah. On the other hand, this Nuremberg is also dead. It's on 5% crew and 20%. Oh, here comes the Paula. He's just taking exception to my existence. <sighs> yeah, heavy belt on Zara, just... I find it idiotic ate, how... Ate all my AP. Yeah. yeah they decided expected. to make... Um, encounter 25 minutes long, so you can't actually do anything with the convoy, except, you know, maybe get to it. Hmm. But they've made this stupid waste of space of a game mode 45 minutes still. Or full hour or something, I don't know. Oh, non pan. And we haven't even got gotten the change to the the penetration and air drag. Hmm. And the Hugo just yeeted our North Dakota. We are down to one remaining battleship. That Kaiser oh, died once and quit. Oh, there's the Voroshilo. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's that's understandable, I guess. Well, I mean, the guy just tanked, like, er, er, he just 
eight a 30k repair cost, didn't he? At least if you use a backup, you don't have to pay for it. Hopefully it was free. I highly doubt it. Nice. Plane? I'm still on fire, by the way. B2. One of the fires has gone out. Nice. But my rear funnel is still ablaze. Wow, we're actually winning. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm using all of my non-existent propulsion to try and move the ship forward and far enough around to the right that I can get all three turrets on something that comes around this island. If only I had VT. Oh, there's a PE-8 as well, somewhere apparently. I fu my ship fired all those shells up there and did absolutely nothing. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. He missed. Okay, I just had a B-25 crash into the ground next oh to me. Oh my god, oh my god, here comes the Hugo. Uh, what am I supposed to do with that? Nothing. Um, aim, for the front. <laughs> aim for the front, but I, I wanted to hit the Chupaya, but I don't think I can do with this thing. Like ammo racking hmm. from the front. Well, he's kind of low, but I don't... Uh, okay, reverse, 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 reverse. Anybody with a torp would be helpful. You say that. Torpedoes don't do anything. Oof. I am presently just a very ineffective AA barge. That's something. Well, you say it's something. All these guns firing and yet to have a single... Yeah. You do realize that that means that a 5-inch HE shell thwacked it in the middle of the fuselage, right? Mm hmm. Very nice. <laughs> what is what more, that? What more you can ask for? Oh, I found something I can finally shoot at. It's a bot crim. <laughs> I wouldn't waste my time on that. <laughs> I haven't got anything else to do. Okay. I guess then try. And not a single shell out of six landed on it. One landed behind it, and the other five landed to the left. Yeah, with this kind of dispersion you need... You need high massive velocity like Zara, because those feel quite good. Even though they are like the same. Or they should kind of around the same pattern. Four shells landed nowhere near the ship. Three of them just phased through it. So I don't get I don't get it why Gaijin made them this bad. Because One hit. Not, no damage. This bad. <laughs> Even Portland got something like 300 meters of dispersion at, I don't know the range, but it's in Friedman's book. Hmm. So, I would imagine Baltimore is in the same ballpark. Baltimore is more accurate. <sighs> because the, uh, the Mark 12s were specifically to fix issues with the Mm. Mark 14. Well, the Mark 8, Mark 14. Mark 12 and Mark 15 are improvements. Plus, the guns are substantially further apart. Oh shit. I got out of the circle. Eh. Yeah. Yay, not that down. B 17 being more successful against battleships than they were in reality? Oh. B8 coming in. Mm. 
Non penetration. <laughs> On what? A Krasny Krim at five and a half kilometers. Wow. With eight inch super heavy AP. Understandable. Here comes the P8. Maybe it'll come and put me out of my misery. No, I think it's coming from me. It's just like flying straight at me. Hmm. Yay, the Hugo down. It's about time. Where's the plane? Where's the plane? Um, Where? There. Yeah. Uh, I can't see it. I think there's an island in the way. So he's he's at six kilometers, and my A guys still aren't doing anything. Still haven't shut it down. Yeah. And he's kind of mm -hmm. flying low. Oh, the BF1 and is <laughs> engaging it. So I wonder how many times we'll have to shout at Gaijin that the 5 inch 38 could engage planes at greater than 10 kilometers. There we go. You know, Cassie's handheld. <laughs> yeah, planes are definitely not overpowered. I mean, I got three air cases in the Suzuya the other day, so. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs 40 millimeters or well, how many turrets is it? One, two, three, six. Yeah, six, five inch. Top what a waste turret. of a bomb. To the base. Oh, yeah. The PE2 just bombed the bot crim. But you know it's helpful because those AIs also count whether mm. who gets to cap. Yeah, but then you notice that the top three people on our team are all in planes. I mean, On the other hurt. hand, they're down by four blokes, so that's something. Oh. Yes. And 1k <laughs> coming again. Hmm. Still on fire. And they bombed the light tick too. Very nice. Oh, I found a cruiser to shoot at. The bad part is it's Gorky. I mean, that isn't that bad. It is, because it'll kill me before I hit it. Ah. I mean, he's, it's kind of squish. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my first salvo to actually get to it, because it you takes... for you, that plane? No. I don't know. No clue. The uh, Gorky is, though. No, he's probably going for the battleships. I don't know. And for all of their quote unquote, we improved the visibility of tracers. I like the tracer, the new tracers. We adjusted them after the release. Yeah, but it doesn't help when the my tracers are white. The sky is white. Hmm. And good I mean, yeah, grief, that grouping is horrible. But I would wager it looks like a little bit green, at least to me. It's yeah, like but I still can barely see light. them. Yeah, it's, uh, it has a little light, light green glow to it. What a fun. Naturally, the Chapayev's first salvo hit me. 1% hmm. crew taken, Elf. And I can't maneuver, so once he gets me sighted in, I'm dead. ME-410. Meanwhile, my groupings are so bad that I can't actually tell where the mean point of impact is because it changes every salvo. So how am I supposed to correct for the movement of the opponent, my movement, and the shells grouping at the same time when I don't have a consistent grouping so I can't actually make a consistent aiming point. ME410 tried, but failed. I successfully landed a hit. Yay! Put a shell straight through his funnel, did nothing. Hmm. I mean, that's sort of expected. No, but... Oh, congratulations, I got a second hit. It went straight through his funnel again. 
Captain Meanwhile, Frank Kennedy. Well, he also keeps adjusting course. Mm. So I can't really account for it because the rate of fire is so low that by the time I've managed to get it on... Yeah, I know. This is why we should get Baltimore to 5 free. I like how that guy is shouting, get on the A point in English, Japanese, and Russian now. Yeah, I was just noticing that. What? Uh huh. I mean, he's trying, I guess. Yeah. I cannot blame that one for doing that. Hmm. And here comes the Hyuga again. Oh my god. Well, there's something else shooting at me now, and I don't know what it is because I can't see it. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. I did see something way off in the distance, but... What? What's next to me? Oh. Yay! I'm on fire again, because the Hyuga's shooting at me. Oh. Nice and the groupings time. are so bad, I can't consistently land more than one shell out of nine. Or six that are actually capable of firing at them. Oh, actually, all nine, turret, all nine guns are firing at him. Oh, never mind, a turret's gone. Yeah, Baltimore is not a... Baltimore is freaking useless. It's not a very nice experience. You know, the best cruiser of World War II is completely useless. But on the bright side... But on the bright no. side, I've just taken yeah. another salvo from a Chapayev. Mm hmm. You have more... You have, more, you have gained more XP than I, but so, or I have done so far, so that's... I guess that's a positive for you. I have... Six, I have 12 more, 13 more points than you do because I have been a bullet sponge. Hmm. That's good. I have two functioning turrets. I have no propulsion. But uh, you're still alive. I think that's, that's what matters. I am a corpse that is refusing to die. I think that's good enough. I wouldn't have it otherwise. I mean, I'm happier with this situation than I am with the one-shot wonder that was 2.5, but I, okay, so my I issue is, I can't do anything. I know. But now it's not, I can't do anything because I'm dead as soon as the match starts, it's I'm dead, I, I, I'm dying the entire time so I can't do anything because the combat ineffective from the first hit. Hmm. Bought the more life. I am effectively a hull that is just existing. And she actually goes for $68 on the market. Oh, gaijin points, whether it's euros or dollars, but... Wait, you said yeah. 68? Yes, so 67. Kind of appropriate, since that's her number. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 69, but... Uh. Not, not just yet. Hmm. I don't know... Sh should I push? I have to try pushing. 11% crew. Someone seems to have sunk the Chapayev. Uh, yeah, Graf Shpey got it. Uh, Voroshilov. Oh, I found a destroyer. 9% crew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's the battleship. Well, as soon as the next fire to 8% crew, as soon as the next fire tick happens, I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. Don't be. Oh, I can't do anything. Not enough free crew members to repair, so the ship is spontaneously exploding. Because this is the most realistic mechanic they have ever implemented. Right. As the ship jiggles to death. I'm on it.
Okay, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get on the point. Good, good. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, we've lost. We have, we have two tickets. That's close. That sucked. It was a well-balanced match. 